Eric, so can you describe these couple of days? This is like sort of like the dream about the driveway, I would imagine. Yeah, um, a lot of visualization and, and thinking of wanting to be in these types of moments. I know when I went up there, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, you know, why not me? I like, I, I want to be in those types of situations to help the team have a chance to win at all times. So um, it's a blessing, man. It was an awesome experience. Like I said, I kind of blacked out for a second, but it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. Did you, did you hear you made your dad cry? That's not saying much. My dad cries a lot. <laughs> How were your uh, ribs feeling after Willie greeted you there uh, crossing the plate? Um, looks like it was a good one. Um, good. I tripped on the dirt right before I jumped, so I'm just glad I didn't eat it. Um, but yeah, ribs are okay, but it was cool. Craig said, you know, you, you play with a lot of confidence, and that's been part of your makeup. How, how much does that help you? You know, just you, you believe that you belong here. How much does that help you these first couple days settling in and perform the way you have? I mean, it's really important. Um, obviously, as most of you guys know, you know my story of being a type 1 diabetic, and I've been told a lot in my lifetime that, you know, I won't be able to do it, that I don't, they don't think I'll go very far, and that, you know, the diabetes might stop me, but that's that's kind of the last thing that's always on my mind i think for me i just want people to know that if you really do trust and believe in yourself and you work hard that really anything is possible and man this is just another part of the journey another part of the story what was that curtain call like after that it was it was it was really really cool i was uh it was nice to get the ovation Um, plenty more hopefully in the future what are your overall thoughts on your reaction to the reaction, I guess, that you've been getting from, from the fans? Um, I mean, it's been awesome. I love that they're supportive and that they're excited to have me here. And I think being able to feed off that also helps that, you know, they're trusting and believing too. Like I said, when you walk up in the box, you, you hear, like yesterday, 40,000 fans screaming tonight, you know, 25,000 fans screaming. It's like, it's a lot of fun. It gives you a lot of confidence. And again, like I said, I just, I trust and believe in myself. I want to be in those in those uh, situations. and and uh, do what I can to help the team win. Are you ready to call? Yeah. Right there. Where's that one going? To be determined.